I have just received a box delivered in the mail of seedlings. Now, until about a week ago, I didn't even know that was possible. I had just assumed you'd have to buy seedlings in person because they're live, they need water, they need sun. I didn't think they would survive in the post. I haven't opened this box yet. I'm gonna open it now. It's come from QP Seedlings, which is a local uh, family business based in Werribee in Victoria, but they do ship around Australia. I'm gonna open it up. It was sent via Express Post a couple of days ago. It was supposed to arrive yesterday. So I'm already worried because it's had more than 48 hours in this box. Let's open it up and see how it survived the journey. So this is how they've arrived. You can see they're wrapped in paper towel or equivalent to keep them moist. They are still very moist. Wow. And they still actually, they look like they've traveled really quite well. So if I open that up, see how they're packaged in there. Yeah, they, they look quite happy. So that is quite amazing after having spent at least 48 hours in transit. Let's see what else is in here. I was really worried about these. Lettuces. They look really strong considering they were delayed in the mail. I love that these aren't coming in plastic. I do like reusing pots, but you can see that is ready to stick straight in the soil. It's traveled really well. I don't even know what that one is, but I'll have to work that out. This looks like this. Oh, they are labeled lettuce. Oh, keep them in their part. I take it back. Okay, we've got spinach. And cos lettuce, they're written on here. Do not lose this. What else have I got here? Oh, look at this. Rainbow silver beet. Snow peas. Let's see. They've traveled really, really well. Snow peas. They, they're crisper and healthier than my snow peas in the garden, which is quite remarkable after two days in the post. Ooh. Green butter lettuce, basil. I've got an entire garden ready to go here. This is amazing. Rocket, red kale. Take them out and show you. Rocket. Is that rocket? Probably, I haven't grown rocket before. And red kale. I'm glad these are named. It's been a little bit squashed, but they're still, they've traveled really well, really well. I'll get these straight out into the sunlight. It's actually amazing how much they've packed into quite a small box too. Oh, fennel. Spring onion. Fennel. Ooh, these look really, really healthy. I know I'm, I've said that, but I'm really amazed these have traveled so well. Spring onion. Bunching broccoli and kale. This is interesting. I have planted broccolini in my garden. These definitely look healthier than the ones I've got in my garden. After two days in the post, I might need to give my seedlings some TLC because they don't look that good. But these look, these look really strong. Ooh. 
Whoop. And more. Celery and more silver beet. And red butter lettuce. It's amazing they fit so much in there. I hope you can hear me with all the crinkling. It is amazing they fit so much in there. And some seeds as well. They come in these cute little packages. Organic seed, little seed packets, bunching broccoli, celery, fennel, spring onion, red cabbage, yellow carrot, ooh. Brussels sprout, carrot, this is so exciting. I've been pleasantly surprised by that. I was genuinely worried when I saw that the post was delayed. Obviously, they, they were dispatched very quickly, but you're still relying on Australia Post to get your parcel there safely, like any online shopping. And when I saw it was delayed, I just thought, they're not gonna survive. They have, they've done really well. They're in a better shape than most of the seedlings that I've planted from seed, probably because they're just a bit better at doing it than I am. I haven't been paid by QP seedlings, but I uh, was sent them as a gift. I promise to you, I will never give you a recommendation or a good review for something that I don't genuinely believe in. This product is good. I would recommend it if you're looking to buy online, if you're not close to a nursery or if the nursery that you go to just doesn't do great quality seedlings. My next video is going to be a tour of my uh, in-laws garden, Nonna and Pa's garden. Nonna and Pa are obviously the grandparents of my children and they have an amazing vegetable garden. They haven't done as much planting for this season as I have and they were about to get going. So they were pretty excited when I told them I'd be bringing them some seedlings to try. So they're gonna try some of these as well. So I'm gonna plant some of them in here. We'll plant some of them at the in-laws place. I can't wait to give you a tour of their garden because it is amazing. And they are the ones who've taught me pretty much everything that I know about gardening. Thank you so much to everyone who's been subscribing to this channel. I've been blown away by the support. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button now. And if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button too. It does just help give this video a little bit of a boost so others can find it more easily. Happy gardening.